Meantime, the Confederacy is now, in many ways, broken apart. And there are going to be many other incidents in 1778, 1790, I mean, I'm sorry, 1779 and 1780. We can't go into all of them, but generally speaking, you'll have the Oneidas on one side fighting alongside the Americans, and you're going to have the Senecas and the Mohawks fighting on the other side beside the British. One of the stories that I will mention in passing, sometimes misunderstood, is that because of all of this very violent warfare in the New York frontier, it spills over into the Pennsylvania frontier. It's a horrible story of, of, of mayhem, of violence, of death, of destruction. The George Washington will issue orders to invade the western part of the Six Nations territory, and this will lead to a raiding party of substantial thousands will go into uh, the Cayuga, Seneca country, and will destroy all those villages, all those crops and everything. Uh, and sometimes it's treated as sort of like, well, Washington just hated all Indians and went to war with them. That is really a misrepresentation of what happened. Sullivan is devoted to destroying villages. It's a wartime activity, is devoted to destroying crops, just as Joseph Brandt and the Mohawks and the Senecas were doing the same thing in the eastern part of the valley, destroying everything. And so it's a very, very complex and very, very sad story in the end of horrible destruction. But for the Six Nations, they now are divided. 